It's my birthday, and for my birthday, I'm giving you a present. If you buy a one-hour reading between now and May 9th, that's my birthday, I'll give you a free 30-minute follow-up until May 9th. So order one today at soulmart.me. So Hello my heroes and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. I am your host to the universe, Christopher Wateki. So nice to see you back. And if you got a little free time this week, come on down to the greatest community on the internet called SoulGarden.me where it's all about you. Bernadette Morgan is our Zodiac Director and she's writing about Aries worthiness. We've got a lot of articles, a lot of Rams, office hours, t different types of people just like you to talk to to get soul support and a bunch of new video bloggers starting to pop up. So come on down, there's no place like Soul Garden. Well, as we transition into the second chapter of the Sun in Taurus, it is about really walking down the path and claiming your abundance. That's what this week is about. You want to claim your abundance, you want to get on the path, walk the path to abundance. That's my theme. And as we begin on Monday, we're actually in this part of the year where we live two different ruling planets per day. And if you're watched over by the Guardian Agency, that's one of the benefits because you are learning exactly the moment that things change. Overall, in the horoscopes, I'll do the best I can. On Monday, we go from Taurus to a Virgo Chiron rulership through the day, depending on where you live. And we have this soul pyramid that will be wrapping up during this week. The moon is in Leo, so emotions will be with your inner child. You'll be feeling happy, joyful, creative. And on Monday, what you want to do is hold space on the one hand. I'll be texting that. In other words, hold space for what you are manifesting. And then when you begin to see signs and things coming to you, you allow the situation to heal. In other words, if you find a way to heal your bank account, heal it. If you find a way to heal a relationship that's valuable, heal it. If you find a way to heal a part of yourself that has low self-esteem, heal it. In chapter two and on Monday, we are developing your soul capital, which is your self-esteem and of course your finances. But most importantly, it is your own sense of what your values are. Are. So on Monday, emotions in Leo will chime into that. So your inner child will have some things to say about your value. And this soul pyramid goes in effect till the end of the week. Then it takes a break and comes back online. I'll be talking more about that. But just to reiterate what the soul pyramid does for you, as you are increasing soul capital here, your new lifestyle is taking off with Mars. And this means a new career is beginning with Pluto. That is the soul pyramid. Now on Tuesday, things go expansive. You will complete in the morning, depending on where you live in the earth. You'll do healing in the morning in Europe and in some cases the United States on the East Coast. Then we will shift uh, to a Jupiter rule day. That means it's going to be a heal and expansion day on Tuesday. What are you expanding? Your definition of your soul capital. Different ways of making money, different ways of seeing your value. You have a lot of things that are value about you, but it may not be that the world knows it yet. That's a different aspect that we'll work on, but still you want to honor where you feel valued. This will turn into soul capital. And so this is the day where we want to move forward with that. Now the moon will cross into Virgo during the course of the day, shifting emotions from your inner child now to your daily lifestyle. And as you can see, at some point the moon will cross Mars. I will text you exactly when, but when it does, that's the point to really take some action. You're going to get emotional, you're going to get full of a lot of masculine testosterone, uh, Aries energy, and that moment you want to take action in your daily life to set up for your abundance and what you're worth and the changing career. Right. Uh, then on Wednesday, we have a bit of a hot day on Wednesday. This is the hottest day, the hardest day of the week. Uranus rules the day on Wednesday. And I thought this would be a good time to point out a couple of oppositions that are rattling us all the while this whole week. Now these oppositions means these are tug of wars between different parts of your life pulling on you. This adds to the tension of Wednesday. But Wednesday really the issue is Uranus, a breakdown. In other words, perhaps you were going down a certain path with finances and that didn't work, it breaks down. Perhaps you had a business idea that doesn't happen. Perhaps you were turned down on a grant. Whatever breaks down, recognize the universe is making room for your breakthrough and recognize these two oppositions. On the one hand, you have your higher self and faith always in opposition to the hard reality. So you're trying to keep faith, but then again, you're also looking at your bank account, the reality, over and over again. So you've got to keep a nice balance between these two. And then on the other hand, uh, you've got the opposition between uh, Mercury and Libra. In other words, your ego has a lot to say about it, but 
but also you're trying to keep things fair, you're trying to keep things balanced. This might be playing out even in the finances of a marriage, FYI, sometimes that happens. You know, you're working on self-esteem issues, but you're married to someone financially, so suddenly marriage is a part of it, or they're putting in it as a part of it. But the point is, is to stay sane, you really just gotta find a nice balance between these four points. Faith and reality, and your ego and strength, and keeping it fair, keeping it real. Now, for those of you who are watched over by the out some extra personal text really designed to get back to your natal chart and help you understand what it takes for you to move forward. Even an Aries can forget. So I'm going to get to your root intention and by knowing the root intention you can move forward. Those watched over by GA. Then on Thursday things get a bit cloudy uh, mostly because we are breaking through. It will begin of course uh, still with Uranus and move into a Mercury day as the day progresses. The Mercury uh, day means that we're going to break through. We're going to understand for you it's about getting the word out, getting the resume out, figuring out why it is something didn't uh, work for you, why something collapsed, that sort of thing. Uh, and of course the moon is still uh, now moving, excuse me, is now moving into Libra at this point, which means emotions start to shift on Thursday in this cloudy day more to relationships. So part of the tension is finance and relationships. I would say it would not be until Thursday that you probably want to address that person. Hey, don't forget by the way, on Tuesdays and Thursdays we always have office hours. We have Soulmart employees who come online and do an hour of uh, a free uh, basic readings. We have new Soulmart practitioners coming on. It's a great way to get to know the garden. It's a great way to chat with us. Don't miss it. Uh, office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Pacific or 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. on London. All right, we got to take a quick little break. When I come back, I've got your happy Friday dance and a surprising full moon weekend after this. Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello my heroes and welcome back from the commercial and that brings us to Friday. It's going to be a fantastic Friday, a fantastic weekend really. We're really putting in the final pieces necessary to light cast your abundance. It starts with on Friday of course. On Friday uh, we have this little loop here you see I've drawn a little circle around the moon crossing Saturn that's really the big event emotionally of the day as the moon crosses Saturn you might take responsibility for those relationship issues that have sort of been building now for those of you who are single this may be playing out with the way you relate to yourself remember in order to draw in the perfect marriage you must be the perfect husband or wife in your own mirage the way you treat yourself the way you're fair to yourself or the way you allow other people to treat you all right, so it is about kind of coming to emotional terms on Friday with that delicate balance. I think it's an important piece in the puzzle for the Rams. And the sun is ruled by Venus and on approach now. It's beginning to conjunct Jupiter. In other words, the gravity forces of the two are within what we call enough of an orb in order for them to start to work together. So it's an exciting time. But the real highlight of the weekend is on Saturday because we have a full moon. Full moon going live 100% full at 11.35 p.m. Eastern time. That is, of course, 8.35 p.m. Pacific. We'll be sending out with text to everyone watched over in the GA uh, Guardian Agency so you can kind of really be up on what's going on. Now, a full moon is pretty in the sky, but it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. What it is is a tug of war between the sun and the moon with the earth in the center. Those emotions are going to pull you into your issues of trust and boundaries. Not just pull you into trust, but in a big full moon way. So you get extremely emotional about where your lines are, where you can trust or where you can't trust. And it does really reveal a lot of what you have in place or not over here with the sun. In fact, really what it comes down to is infueling yourself emotionally enough with your trust issues to where maybe you take the leap or let go of what's holding you back on the sun side. Maybe you need to change some boundaries in order to increase your value. Maybe you need to put up some boundaries in order to raise your value. Whatever that case, that extreme emotion on Saturday is really you know, pulling you into that boundary realm so you make the necessary changes to hold your effect. 
value. Then on Sunday, we really do kind of slide into home. It's going to be a Neptune morning. It's going to be a Saturn uh, afternoon. What that means is we're kind of intuiting with the higher self. The moon is still in the house of sex and intimacy, so you might be a little bounce or bow wow. But overall, the day is about making a decision. After this boundary exchange, after this understanding of what you're comfortable and what you're not, by the time you go to bed on Sunday, Saturn is ruling, which means you're making a decision to the direction you are aiming for uh, when it comes to soul capital, when it comes to finances, when it comes to manifesting abundance, and you are clarifying exactly what you will no longer do for good. So Saturday is like a perfect wrap-up day starting us from Monday. And as we start next week, you're going to see next week is all about the gigantic boom, if you will, of taking that what you've done this, this week and this weekend and making it happen, making it so, building on top of it. Also notice the Soul Pyramid has broken for a while. Mars uh, will begin and will continue trining uh, Jup uh, Pluto for some time. This trine comes back together when Mercury catches up here in just a few days. So we kind of float for a while with this new abundance uh, after Sunday night. All right, Rams, that's all I have for your seven-day forecast, and I hope to see you again.